good morning everyone or happy whatever time of day it is wherever you are we are in my bathroom so it may sound a little bit more echoey than normal but i just wanted to share with you guys a bunch of skincare i've been loving lately some of them are more affordable some of them are more expensive but these are all products that have one thing in common i actually think they work i feel like in the world of skincare it is weirdly hard to find products that like are effective and skincare is also tricky because it's one of those things that you know, you may not know that it was effective for years to come. You know what I mean? Especially with anti-aging, but these are ones that I trust that I'm already starting to notice a difference in my skin. Keep in mind, I'm not a dermatologist. I'm just like you. I'm also just trying to find the best stuff out there. This may be my second cup already. Okay, fine, it's third, it's third, it's my third cup. By the way, this little PJ set I got at Target. I think this pattern is sold out but I love it so much. I literally last night in bed ordered another one that's like black with white piping. So I can link whatever ones are in stock down below because they're not crazy expensive. They're so soft and they're so cozy. I slept so well last night. So today's video is sponsored by Maylove. I've worked with them for years. I love this skincare company. I'm gonna talk about a few of my favorites from them and then we'll dive into other brands, other skincare products I'm loving. So one that I've loved for years, you guys know, if you've been watching for a while, is their Glow Maker Antioxidant Serum. This has been a favorite of mine for years. I've gone through like four or five bottles of this. So this is, in my mind, a vitamin C serum, but it also has vitamin E, ferulic acid and hyaluronic acid. So basically with all of that together, it's going to brighten your skin and it's gonna hydrate your skin. That's what I'm looking for. Hydration and like brightening and evening. And this does all of that. My dermatologist did tell me that a good vitamin C serum is so important in your routine. And I'm so glad that I found this because this is one that I trust. I've seen the results over the past year. And if you've been on the hunt for a great serum, I really think you'll like this one. You can use this morning and night, by the way. I just choose to use this in the morning. And, and, and. Another thing to keep in mind, if you're someone that wears makeup, a lot of problems with skincare is that the skincare you'll put underneath your makeup might pill up, it might not look right. This adds that perfect layer of just like glowiness without being overpowering. And I feel like on the few days that I'll skip this because I'm in a hurry, my skin looks different. Not in a good way, but it does look different. So another product I have been loving from them, it's typically the very last step in my nighttime skincare routine is their Love 31 Precious Face Oil. If you want a powerhouse that has rosehip seed oil in it, this is the one I would recommend. It is pricier at 75 bucks, but you guys, this is a special oil blend. This is the second one I've used of it. I went crazy on this in the winter because my skin was drier and it completely, like any dryness I had, gone. It is the most luxurious feeling oil you press in and it's got such a beautiful proprietary blend that they're using. 31 botanical extracts that are gonna hydrate, smooth, even out your skin. What's nice too though is this is something you can use during the day. It works well under makeup. You don't need a lot. It provides this thin layer. It doesn't look crazy oily or greasy. It sinks into the skin pretty quickly. It makes me feel like I'm taking care of myself when I use this kind of product. Does that make sense? I just feel like my skin loves it. It drinks it up. It completely healed my winter skin. I wanna read to you guys something they mention on their site about this that I thought was so interesting. It says, each production run like of creating this entails 17 precisely executed steps to balance the numerous ingredients in a properly timed blending sequence. From there, only about a third of each production batch is selected for filling due to our stringent quality control. So they're blending jojoba oil, rose, argan oil, hazelnut, baobab, cannabis sativa, 31 different botanical extracts and vitamins. That kind of control is so necessary in the skincare world and it is certainly not what is happening with most skincare companies. So I appreciate that. I'm telling you this will last you a year. You only need a little bit and press it in and it is wonderful for your skin. They do have some bundles and kits on their website so if you're interested in saving a little bit of money and trying a couple of their products, that's always a good way to do it. I will link any of the products I mentioned for Mayla down below. Thank you so much, Mayla, for supporting my channel over the years. I love your products. I believe in your products. So like I said, if you're interested in checking out Mayla, definitely check the description box for a link. Let's dive into the other skincare I've been loving. One product that I almost didn't mention because you can tell I haven't used for a very long time, a few weeks, but I feel like I'm already starting to see a difference and so I felt like throwing it in even though it's newer to me. This is the only one I haven't been using for a while, okay? I literally stared at this just one minute ago and I was like, do I want to mention it? But I feel like throwing it out there just in case someone has been interested. This is the Ula Henriksen Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. 
This is actually a little travel size. I see that right now as I'm filming this, it's sold out on Sephora's site for the smaller size. I'm assuming they sell the smaller size on other sites. I'll link what I can find down below. With skincare, anytime you can get a smaller size, I think that's a great idea because you can kind of try it out and get a feel for it, especially if it's a pricier one, right? This is my favorite daytime toner. I, I've been using this in the morning for the past few weeks. I never really used toner during the day, to be honest. But again, I'm trying to amp up my morning skincare routine and what I'm putting on my skin before makeup because I feel like I would put a lot of effort into my nighttime one, but then I would kind of slack during the day. So I've been using this as the first thing that touches my skin the past few weeks. It has glycolic acid and lactic acid in it, and so that is gonna kind of help even your skin tone and texture. And I'm already noticing that some of the darker spots I have like up here where the sun naturally hits my skin, they're already lightening and that's why I'm like, oh my gosh, like is it actually working? It's got chamomile that's gonna help kind of calm and soothe the skin. It has witch hazel as well that's gonna help brighten the skin. I feel like it's a really good combo of ingredients and it feels really nice on the skin. The only thing I will say is that it has a strong smell that I personally like. However, if you know right off the bat that your skin is sensitive to scent, I wouldn't, I would not go for this because it's definitely strong, but it smells so pleasant. It's so invigorating. I'm, I'm just really digging it. So the order of my kind of morning routine is I'll go in with that Ula Henriksen toner. Then I'll go in with my Maylove Glow Maker Vitamin C Serum. Then I'll go in and do some kind of eye cream. I've been enjoying this product here as my eye cream. This is the Murad Vita C Eyes Dark Circle Corrector. Now the reality is eye serum is something a lot of dermatologists say you don't really need. You can just use your moisturizer for that. I just like eye creams. You know what I mean? Like it's just a step I enjoy patting something there. So I don't mind buying eye creams and using them. It is pricey, however, you get a decent amount and you use the smallest amount. So it's got vitamin C in it, which is gonna provide some antioxidant defense under the eyes. It's got algae and kelp extract that's gonna kinda of help depuff a little bit. Cucumber extract can possibly help with like fine lines. And then it also has this kind of visible little micro, not shimmer, but there's this little bit to it that does help to kind of brighten that area temporarily, which I like, because during the day, if I'm already gonna go in with you know, concealer and stuff like that. Obviously I have no makeup on right now, but you can see where I would typically be putting correctors. I feel like this just kind of helps to kind of even that area out just a little bit, give it that extra boost it needs. So I like that it's got skincare in it for long-term benefits, but that it also has those temporary depuffing kind of brightening effects as well. So that's why I really like this as my daytime eye cream. So sometimes I'll use an actual moisturizer, moisturizer during the day, but more often than not, I go straight in with this SPF. So this is the polish Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. It's SPF of 30. I've had no issues using this as my sunscreen on my face for years. It has helped so much. I'll use it when we're down in Disney World and the Florida heat. What I like about this is not only does it have good skincare, but it's actually a great SPF under makeup. It does not pill up. It kind of evens out your skin tone. It's what I have on today and I do feel like there is like this skin tone evening, almost blurring, perfecting effect to it. I do think because of the tone of it, that if you have a deep, deep, deep skin tone, it might look ashy on you. So just something to keep in mind, but it's got resveratrol, antioxidants, so it's doing good for your skin, but it's also protecting your skin, which I'm realizing I'm 31. If I'm not putting on SPF, that's the thing that's gonna age me more than anything. I feel like I could use no skincare at all and only use SPF and that's the best thing I could probably be doing for my skin anyway. You know what I mean? So I really like this. It's gonna be a long video, I can hardly feel it. But another thing to keep in mind, I am gonna mention a couple of Polish Choice products. They have sales on their site all of the time. Like literally today as I was pulling these products up to kind of double check ingredients, a thing popped up that's like 20% off one item. Like they're constantly having deals. So if you are gonna order straight from Polish Choice website, definitely make sure you're using some kind of promo code. Um, if not, I have seen Polish Choice real products on Amazon if you're placing an Amazon order. This next product is a really good bang for your buck kind of product. It's $12.99. They sell it on Ulta's website and other sites as well. It's the Shea Moisture Glow Getter Pressed Serum Moisturizer. I have been getting so into pressed serums lately and they're kind of getting this kind of I feel like they're kind of becoming cooler in the skincare world, like more people are knowing about them, more brands are making them. I've used about half of this up and I've had this for a while. You do not need a lot, but I wanna show you me applying it to my skin today. So I just kind of quickly applied this right before I filmed. And the beauty of this product is it really is a serum 
but it's pressed and it can act like a lightweight moisturizer and it adds this gorgeous almost glass like glow to the skin and it looks beautiful under makeup when i first tried this i applied a little bit too much so when i would try to use it during the day it'd be slightly too oily but if you use a small amount really melt it between the fingers and press it in it can look so gorgeous so you can wear it under makeup you can wear it alone i've heard of people mixing this with another moisturizer honestly i think alone this is moisturizer enough you don't really have to pair it with another one so ingredient wise it's got manuka honey that's going to give some nutrient rich hydration some antioxidants and then it's got lactic acid that again is going to kind of encourage cell turnover which we're going to talk here in a, about here in a minute and so it's going to kind of improve your skin in that way and then vitamin c of course that can kind of brighten and even out your skin tone as well so i think this is an incredible product for an incredible price if you've just been looking for a way to kind of switch up your routine i really think you'll like this so now we're going to switch to my evening skincare routine last night when i was doing my skincare routine i filmed myself using a lot of these products so you will get to see these in action too i'm not going into cleansers and makeup removers i use that's a whole nother video i am planning more of a routine video in the future here in a month so subscribe stay tuned for that but I just want to share about those other products I'm using that are making a huge difference beyond cleansers and things like that okay so the first thing I go in with once my makeup is removed and my face is cleansed is this Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant this is their I'm pretty sure number one selling product it's like 29 bucks it lasts quite a while it's incredible you guys I I just hummed and hawed over this I kept hearing about it and seeing it on social media and I never tried it well I finally did I'm probably two-thirds of the way through this one it's just so good you guys all of us suffer from you know pores and congestion in our skin and what we need is an exfoliant and I don't mean like a physical one I mean a chemical one to kind of get that dirt out of there and encourage your skin to kind of turn over so this has salicylic acid in it and it's gentle enough for most people to use which is really nice because a lot of AHA BHA type products can be a little harsh this one's gentle enough to use I use it every other night I don't use it every single night I don't feel like I need to so it's going to basically unclog your pores it's exfoliating those dead skin cells away at a chemical level and it's just helping it shed those extra layers and it's just encouraging your skin to keep working basically and it's just so good it's such an easy step to do I use a reusable cotton round you can of course just put it on your hands and just press it into skin as well that's totally your call with toners and essences and things like that I'm telling you this is making a huge difference in the look of my skin I feel like my pores are less obvious here I just it's so good you guys okay another product I wanted to mention is this peptide boost from Paula's choice this is pricier however I was looking for a product that had really good peptides in it because it can really help with anti-aging and fine lines and stuff and, you know I'm starting to get them in here and there I came across this and it can be used alone as a serum to help with anti-aging however you can also mix it in with a moisturizer one of my favorite moisturizers is from drunk elephant it's really expensive it's their moisturizer with peptides like their poly peptide cream I think it's called and I can link it below if you can afford it it's great however I was like there's got to be a way that I could kind of infuse peptides in, into my skincare and then just use a different moisturizer that was maybe less expensive then I found this and that's exactly what this can do it's a booster meaning you can mix it with other serums other moisturizers and add that anti-aging level of peptides but of course you could also use it as a serum on its own before your moisturizer so I've used it in all of those ways it works so well I'm really starting to notice a difference in my fine lines especially here and I feel like this is the main difference in my skincare routine since I started noticing a slight change. Again, if you've been looking for a way to infuse peptides in, yes, it's expensive. You can use a little bit, especially if you're mixing it with something else anyway. It's that added layer of just something different I can have in my skincare routine that I'm hoping is working to help kind of fend off those aging signs. If you can afford this next product, it will completely change your skincare game. This is the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. I have tried to find dupes. I've tried the one from The Ordinary. I've tried quite a few. The one from The Ordinary that's a dupe for this is a little bit more sensitizing to your skin so keep that in mind but it is cheaper and if you wanted to give it a try I'll link it below okay because I, I mean this is expensive this is an AHA BHA type product okay it's a chemical exfoliant it's less of a liquid and more of like a serum if you will so it's easy to apply you don't need very much so this lasts me a long time so at least if you're gonna spend the money it'll last you but it basically will do what the Paula's Choice exfoliant does but 
on a little bit stronger of a level and it's got more to it. It's gonna loosen the sebum to unclog it and this helps so much with anti-aging too. It's doing it all so that any other skincare you put on after this, your skin is ready like to maximally absorb the ingredients. Does that make sense? So I just think this is so good. I only use this like twice a week. So again, it will last you even longer, but it also doesn't sensitize your skin as much as other products like this does. It's just the perfectly created product that I feel like it's clearing my skin, it's evening it out, it's literally unclogging it, but it's also helping with anti-aging. It's just doing it all, you guys. It's funny, I this is probably the third one of these I've had and used. For a few months, I didn't have it, and I recently got it again. I was noticing that my skin just wasn't at its prime, and when I started using this again, I was like, yes, like it's back to its former glory, and I just think this is an incredible product. I did actually do an entire video on literally everything Drunk Elephant sells. I've tried it all. I will link that video up in the eye and down below. It was filmed a while ago. <laughs> was it like a year ago maybe? But I still stand by everything I said in it. So if you're interested in other Drunk Elephant products, I will link that below. The next products from Polish Choice again. I know they just make a lot of good skincare, you guys. And they've got lines for like every skin type, which I think is cool. So this is their Omega Plus Complex Serum. This used to be their Resist serum. I loved their resist line and now I'm loving this Omega line. I'm trying a lot of their products from this. So this is more, it feels more like a moisturizer instead of like a liquid serum, if you will. So sometimes I will mix Peptide Booster and other products like that with this and put it on as my all-in-one serum and it's great. This is the kind of product that makes my skin feel supple and plump. I know those are words that people don't like, but that's the only words I can think of to describe it. It kind of helps with my dull, drier skin and makes it feel more hydrated. It's got omega fatty acids in it that are gonna help with that. And I just feel like when I use this, my skin feels a little bit stronger and bouncy. And I really like that. This is one of those products that yes, it's a serum, I feel like you could almost use it as a moisturizer. Probably a good idea to still throw a moisturizer on top, but I think this is a fantastic lotion-y serum. And again, if you've got boosters or other serums you're wanting you to use, like a May Love one too, mix it with this and put it on and you've got a powerhouse on your skin. So, so another product I have fallen in love with in the past year is Rose Hip Oil. So this one that I'm currently using is from Trilogy. It's around $30. You can get one from The Ordinary for around nine or $10. So keep in mind, you don't have to buy this one. This is just the one I have that I'm using up. Rosehip seed oil just does this magical thing to my skin that I feel like that is what's making my skin look like dewy, naturally. Not oily, but it's helping even my skin tone out. It really helps with scarring. So I had a few moles removed from my dermatologist last year. I started putting this on the scars and they have virtually disappeared. And so if you have acne scarring, this is a magic ingredient. You can put it on before your moisturizer, but you can also put it on after your moisturizer. I know that sounds weird. There are two schools of thought. That's how I've been using it. I'll just literally press it onto my skin and I feel like it helps with scars. It helps with evening out any pigmentation issues you may have. And on top of that, it's nice and moisturizing. So it's just one of those ingredients that I feel like if you've been feeling like nothing else is working for you, it's worth looking into. So you'll notice I didn't really go into like moisturizers either. That's an area that, again, I'm gonna touch on in a future video, and this video is already long enough, and I really just wanted to focus in on anti-aging, chemical exfoliant, serum type products that are working for me behind the scenes. So like I said, I'll mention cleansers, makeup removers, and moisturizers, things like that in a future video. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I like sharing these kinds of things. I always hesitate with skincare videos because again, I'm not a dermatologist. I only know as much as I know and I certainly don't know everything. I would say generally a good rule of thumb is always take any skincare advice or frankly any advice at all on the internet with a grain of salt. Do your own research. I'd love to know what your favorite skincare products are down below, especially if they're more affordable. I'm always down for saving money when I can and I would love to hear from you guys. I'd also love to say hi to you on social media it is at it's jessica braun i'd love to chat with you all over on instagram facebook twitter and of course subscribe to catch my videos in the future i do makeup and beauty i do skincare hair care i do lifestyle things cooking shopping all of that here on my channel and i upload three times a week without fail so i'd love to have you guys join our little family here and other than that i'll catch you guys in my next one bye